a gamble. Somebody here for you. They say they've just killed the Joker. They brought the body. So, dead? That's 500. How about a lie? Hmm? You wanna know how I got these scars? My father was a drinker and a fiend. And one night, he goes off crazier than usual. Mommy gets the kitchen knife to defend herself. He doesn't like that. Not one bit. So, me watching, he takes the knife to her, laughing while he does it. He turns to me, and he says, Why so serious? He comes at me with the knife. Why so serious? He sticks the blade in my mouth. Let's put a smile on that face. And... Why so serious? Now, our operation is small, but there's a lot of potential for aggressive expansion. So which of you fine gentlemen would like to join our team? Oh, there's only one spot open right now, so we're gonna have... Tryouts. Make it fast. Welcome to Hong Kong, Mr. Fox. Mr. Lau regrets he isn't able to greet you in person today. Well, I understand. I'm gonna to have to ask you to check in your mobile. Of course. I must apologize for leaving Gotham in the middle of our negotiations. This uh, misunderstanding with the Gotham police force. I couldn't let such a thing threaten my company, of course. A businessman of your stature will understand, and uh, with you here now, we can continue. Well, I do appreciate you bringing me out here in such style, Mr. Salah, but I really... We do not allow cell phones in here. I'm sorry. Forgot I had it. No, I really came to tell you that our business deal has to be put on hold. You see, we can't afford to be seen to do business with you. Whatever it is you're accused of being, I'm sure a business manager statue will understand. I think, Mr. Fox, a simple phone call might have sufficed. And Mr. Wayne didn't want you to think that he was deliberately wasting your time. Just accidentally wasting it. <laughs> Very good, Mr. Lau. Accidentally. Very good. Hey, sir. 